Uh, today in Hebron, there are uh, several Jewish neighborhoods. Uh, we have living here over 80 families. Uh, there are over 300 children. There's the yeshiva here, a Torah academy, with about uh, 350 men. So we have in Hebron uh, a total of, uh, uh, of over 800, between 850 to 900 Jews living here in the city. Uh, in the neighborhood just outside of uh, Hebron and Kiryat Arba, uh, there are about uh, uh, 1,500 families. You're talking about 7,500 people. Uh, so that's what we have here, uh, just in a general uh, framework. Now, the neighborhood that we're in now is actually the most important place there is in Hebron after the tomb of the patriarchs and the matriarchs, Marat Machpelah. This neighborhood is uh, known commonly as Tel Romeda. Um, the word Romeda comes from the Arabic remed, meaning ash gray. There was a fire here a few thousand years ago, and the name stuck. But that's not the real name. The real name of this neighborhood is Tel Hebron, because if down the street, uh, at the tomb of the patriarchs and the matriarchs, where Abraham and Sarah are actually buried, this is where they lived. This is the actual Tel Hebron. This is the original, authentic, biblical Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Sarah, Rebecca and Leah lived almost 4,000 years ago. And today, not only are we uh, talking about it, but we can actually see some of it. Um, if, you, if you come over here, you can see some very interesting things here. First of all, we see the stairs in the middle. We'll talk about the stairs in a minute. To the right and to the left of the stairs are walls. Now this wall over here on the left side uh, today is three meters high. It used to be 10 meters high. So we had another one and another one a little bit higher. So that's how high it was. It was six, excuse me, it was six meters deep. And the really fascinating part about it is it was built 4,500 years ago, which in archaeological terminology is early bronze, which means that it's very, very old. If you want to get an idea of what was happening around here 4,500 years ago, uh, so it's very simple. Remember the story of Noah and the Ark? That's when this was built. This was built during the days of Noah and the Ark 4,500 years ago. Now the wall on the other side over here, on the right side, is a little bit newer. It's only about 3,700 years old. And this is the base of the original wall, which was actually larger than the wall opposite it. Uh, and this was built, not early bronze, but middle bronze, the days of Abraham and Sarah. It's a wall that goes all the way around Tel Hebron. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it's actually very, very fascinating because it's a wall that was utilized for over a thousand years which means that it was seen by uh, Abraham, by Joshua, and by King David, all the way through the time of the first temple, through the days of King Hezekiah. Um, now the stairs in the middle are over 4,000 years old. These stairs were not put back together again. They're not Lego. This is how they were discovered. And coming up into the street, if the archaeologists could dig down, uh, through the street, then they would probably find the first gates to the city of Hebron, uh, which would then go up into the ancient city of Hebron. So actually, when you stand here, you're standing at the actual roots, not only just the roots of the Jewish people, but you're standing here at the roots of all of monotheism. Anybody that believes in one God, they started right here, at this very spot where Abraham and Sarah lived. And Actually, what's so fascinating about this is that we still live here today. In other words, the same place that we began, the same place that we started almost 4,000 years ago, and how many people in the world can stay, say that they still live in the very place that they began? But that's what we have here. It's not a tourist trap, and the kids are all in school now. But people live here. There are families that live here. There are children that play outside. Uh, probably in the same place where little, uh, little Isaac played uh, when Abraham and Sarah were bringing him up right here, and where little Jacob played. And uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's really amazing that we're, we're still here at our very, very roots. Now, we're going to continue through time. Please come on in with me.